Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on NURAC. I must say NURAC from four pockets never stop from uh, uh, impressing me or surprising me. Um, every week there is a new release and a release contains yes bug fixes but most of the time it contains new features. In the latest release uh, we have a fantastic addition um, the MIDI strummer, which I think is probably the best MIDI strummer I have seen off the shelf in uh, iOS apps. So in this demonstration I'm going to give you an introduction to it and then I will do also an additional video later on on how to create a custom pattern. As always I give you, uh, I give away a number of free codes and uh, thank you to Four Pockets for this. So I have uh, free codes that I can give away. So if uh, you are interested, as always, send an email to soundformore at gmail.com and then uh, uh, by the beginning of next week or the end of the weekend, I will choose three winners. So let's start. So we are inside AUM, my, prefers my preferred uh, <laughs> AUV free host. So let's click on the plus sign on plus audio and let's create a new channel. Now let's go directly to the effects. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's uh, scroll down to reveal the search option and let's search for new rack. Now let's select new rack FX MIDI because the MIDI strum, as the name said, um, says um, it will generate MIDI and not sound, so MIDI signal. So uh, therefore, additionally, we need a synth. In this case, let's use Chameleon again from Four Pockets. Great app. So let's search for Chameleon. And here it is. Perfect. So let's uh, make the necessary connection so that Chameleon will listen to Nurak FX MIDI. Like so. So let's go inside Chameleon and let's choose a preset. Let's go to guitar and perhaps let's choose this empty acoustic guitar. And uh, let's test it a little bit. So, perfect, it sounds absolutely gorgeous. So I think it would be a good one to actually um, test the MIDI strum. So let's close Chameleon. And let's go inside the new rack and um, let's um, hide the keyboard now, the AUM keyboard, double click on the title bar to maximize it. So as you know, if you know how to use new rack, so you click on the edit button, you go in edit mode and let's click on the plus sign and choose a module from the MIDI category. And here we are, voila, we have a MIDI strummer. As you can see, it's a really, really nice, pleasant, uh, um, interface. Um, here you have uh, on the left uh, the representation of code, right? So in this case is a C major code. So you see the root highlighted in yellow. <clears throat> you can see also the open uh, strings and also the closed one, the one which you should not pluck or mute it. <clears throat> and then the names of um, uh, the notes for each of the strings. Um, here you have a button which shows you that you can strum up or down. The speed of the strum is dictated by, uh, is set by this dial, uh, strum speed. So if I set it to uh, very low, I can of course increase that. Okay, then <clears throat> let's move on to other controls. So here you have a the ARP, which you need to set in play mode. And then you need to set the host to play to hear the code being played. So for example, let's play, let's click play on the transport control of AUM. Now we can click on the play ARP to hear the code. Okay, perfect. So let's go through uh, a little bit other controls. At the moment it's playing the ARP variation default, but I can change that. So for example, let's listen to variation number one. Let's choose a couple of other variations.
As you have probably noticed, it doesn't change from one variation to the other immediately. You see a button here with these two arrows, you click on it, and here you can set when the chord change. At the end of the pattern, as it is creating every four bits, or at the end of each bit. So that really depends on uh, your favorite uh, um, play mode. Now, in terms of other controls, we have uh, eight pads here, which shows you different chords. Again, we can click on play and, and click on the different parts to change the chords. <laughs> Okay, now in terms of um, uh, the root node, here you can choose the root node, you can also change that, for example the D, and the chord will change. You can change the type of chord, minor, diminish, etc. You can set minor, in this case you change that individual chord. You can also set the chord inversion, so you can say um, second inversion, fret 5, and uh, you will see that that changes, and it shows you here on the right hand side the fret corresponding to the fretboard on your guitar, so really, really well done. Then, in terms of, uh, we have already seen the variation, the upper variation here, one to seven. This button shows you the how the, var the variation is created. So here is where you can create your pattern, and I, I will show you a dedicated video uh, later on on how um, to create one, because it's really cool, really straightforward. You can set 12 string mode, listen to the difference. You can set setting for left hand and it will change here the display. Okay, you can disable that. You can also decide to generate a number of chords. For example, I say that we work in D and also D minor and it will change the chords accordingly, right, on the scale. So. Okay, then we have a button, as it says here, it will relax the rules and allow split and complex chords as well. We talked about the pads here. And then additionally, we have a velocity uh, dial, which is, it looks like, uh, it sounds like you are changing the volume, but you are really changing the velocity of each note. You can set the ARP speed. Can decide to change the strum speed as I explained earlier and also you can change the octave as well. Okay so this is just an introduction to new rack MIDI strummer. Uh, really really fantastic addition to new rack. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video um, four pockets never stop to surprise me with uh, the addition to Nurak is really growing in functionality in modules and uh, what it can do. So I can't wait to what uh, you know will be re released uh, in you know next week on the following weeks. So um, as always, I hope you found this useful and be tuned for the next tutorial. Bye.